Well, I'm joined now by Congresswoman Nancy Boyda, back in the state, busy as always. And I know that an issue in Kansas is really some of the small towns, small counties not having pharmacies. And I know you've introduced legislation to try to fix that. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's something that I think is so troubling. We were just talking about a, a year or two ago, there are three counties in Kansas that don't have a pharmacy. There are now seven. And what they did, they were changing the rules. This happened a couple of years ago on July 1st that basically said we're going to reimburse pharmacies 36% less than they, than they buy the drug for. That's like asking the bank to sell a dollar for 64 cents. And this bill or this law was supposed to take effect on July 1st. It was just crazy. So we went out and said, we're going to get that changed. And a lot of people said, you can't get it changed. We've tried. That rule is stuck. We're going to get it done. But we got a reprieve. And, and we don't, the, the law is now going to take effect on, June, on, excuse me, on January 30th. So we've got till then. We're working on a fix. We've got a bunch of really cool pharmacists who are just out on the grassroots saying, if this happens, we're going to lose all of our retail pharmacies. Uh, and I've just said, uh, over my dead body, are we going to have that happen? So well, and you can't afford to have <coughs> communities that don't have access yeah. to a pharmacy. So. This was part of the Deficit Reduction Act, the so-called Deficit Reduction Act. And it, it's supposed to save a few billion dollars, but each one of those dollars virtually comes right out of the pocket of these community pharmacies. So um, I am working as hard as we can to get this changed, and I think we'll be successful. So we've got until until January 30th. That's good. Okay. Another moving on to something else. I know you were finally able to get some veterans some medals that yeah. they had not been awarded, and I know that 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 makes them feel so good. How special was that for you? This was a story that was just wonderful. We have a young man um, from Soldier, Kansas, who is in Iraq right now, mm -hmm. and his grandpa served in Korea, was behind enemy lines. So it's this incredible story. They. Um, <coughs> excuse me, they'd kept on trying to get his Purple Heart, and they said, no, your records have been lost, they've been burned in this fire in St. Louis, they kept on saying no, no. So he just gave up. This was maybe for the last 15 years. Well, his grandson said, came to our office and said, let's really see if we can get those. So for a few months it took us, because they kept telling us the same thing, the records aren't available, the records aren't available, and we, we just said, we, we're going to keep on pushing. So we did. Mm -hmm. uh, a guy named Jefferson Lawson in my office kept on pushing, and w we got it. We found, they actually found the records, and uh, so we gave him his Purple Heart. They brought in family. There were 12 family members there from all over the country. You can imagine, Natasha, tears and tears and tears. And the, we got the, uh, the young man, the the, uh, the young man, the grandson who's in Iraq, we got him on a speakerphone. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was so much fun. That's and wonderful. everybody, um, it, we just had a great time. Well, congratulations Thank on that. Thank you. Real, t we're, real quickly, touching on the war, I know that <coughs> there, there was some uh, talk about a uh, hearing on Iraq I legislation. I did not walk out of a hearing on Iraq. I'm glad <laughs> you asked about that. Clear that up a little bit because well, I that's, know. That would be a story that the, quite honestly, the Republican National mm -hmm. Committee is putting out, that I walked out on a hearing. That is not true. There's a little anteroom, and I stepped out of the anteroom. There's a coffee pot, a closed circuit TV. I was there the entire time. Uh, and so I, it's just a little frustrating to have people come up and say, why did you walk out of a meeting? I did not walk out of a meeting. So uh, at the beginning, right after I got elected, they said she cut troops to Fort, or cut funding to Fort Riley. People are finding out that wasn't true. Uh, one of the more interesting things that was out there was that uh, I, I walked, I, I rode in the Wamego Parade because I had on these glitzy high heels. I was in a pair of jeans and walked, you know, the whole time. So it's just unfortunate that you really can't believe a lot of what's said. If somebody has a question, I'd appreciate they call our office and we'll tell them what's going on. Well, we appreciate you clearing that up. I'm glad you brought I, that up because, yeah, I know we it did has not walk out on a meeting. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us again this morning and All we right. hope to see you back here soon. Thanks, Natasha. Thank you.